guys, it's me Stace. I am back today with another Toddler Tuesday video and today the little ones can make the cutest little scarecrow ever from a toilet paper tube. Now I've seen this idea on Pinterest so I have to give credit where credit is due. I only changed one thing but how cute is that little guy? Alright, so to get started you're going to need a toilet paper tube, some masking tape, a little um, cupcake liner, yellow construction paper, and a few markers and either a stick like a branch off a tree or a popsicle stick. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and poke holes on uh, two sides for the stick to go through. And that's the one thing I did change. The one I seen on Pinterest, they used a popsicle stick. All right, take your little stick here and go ahead and poke it through. And I will have the original link on my blog so you guys can see where that came from, but it's super cute. All right, and that stick is about maybe six inches or so. Okay, so now we have his little hands or his arms. Now you want to take some masking tape, and my tape here is rather wide, so I'm going to make it be a little bit shorter by folding it over. Just take a chunk of this, it's going to make the face of our scarecrow. This is the front. Oops. Alright, I'm going to seam in the back, like that, and I'm just going to fold over the extra here. Okay, so now we have an even part here for the face. You want to take some markers. I'm using a black ultra fine Sharpie marker. We're going to draw a little happy face on them first. Like that, and then just draw little lines. Okay, we now we have his mouth. Take an orange marker and draw a triangle for the nose and then color that in. All right, now I'm going to take a thicker black marker for the eyes. How cute, right? All right, we are done with all the markers for right now. I'm going to put the lid on this one. I'm going to use that one. Now I'm going to go back to a thicker marker and draw like a rectangle for a patch. Rectangle or a square, color that in. Okay, and take another color, we'll go green. And do another one down here. Color that in. I'm going to go back with my thin marker and just draw little lines on it to make it look like stitch lines. I did three on each side of that. Can you see that? All right, let's go ahead and do this one. So making a great afternoon craft or even a school craft, I think. All right, so we have those. All right, now we are done with all the markers. I'm going to put the lids on them so they don't dry out on me. All right, now you want to create the hair. Take a piece of yellow construction paper. And we're going to cut it about in half, I guess. All right, now we're going to fold it. And you want it to be as wide as your toilet paper tube. So just kind of fold it over, bring your tube over. Okay, we're pretty good there. And just roll it up. Okay, now you're going to take your scissors and cut up about an inch and a half maybe on each side to create the straw for the scarecrow. So it's a great scissor activity for little ones. And really cute. All right. If you don't have a stick or a hole punch, you can certainly, the way they did it, they went and took their scissors and cut up on each side of the scarecrow and then kind of slid a popsicle stick in that. So you can do that as well if you don't have the hole punch. But if you don't have a hole punch, you can use anything really. Flip 
it over and do this side here. All right, and then do this side. So I get a little bit easier. And our last one right here. Okay, so we have the hair. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of fold it down a little bit. Take this side and kind of press it down. Okay, and that's gonna go on top of this, the head right, like that. That's going to form the scarecrow. I mean, it's so cute. I'm going to take some glue. I'm using art glitter glue, but any kind of glue I think will be fine, like a tacky glue, I think. And I'm going to put it just around the outside of this, and hopefully we'll be able to get some of it to touch. We're also going to tape it down as well. All right, so we're going to go ahead and plop this on here, make sure it's even with his face. Okay, I'm going to sit that like that. I'm going to grab some scotch tape just to kind of hold it down for me a little bit. And I'm only going to glue the back. We're not going to see that part. Okay, just let it sit there for a minute. Let the glue kind of grab for you. I mean, so cute. Okay. And you, if you want to, you can kind of trim the hair and make it all scraggly. Okay, that's kind of down there, I think. All right, now take your cupcake liner. Let's fix that tape in the back. Give it a little bit of a rub. All right, take your cupcake liner. We're gonna put some glue right here. I'm using a foil cupcake liner, so it's a little bit harder for the glue to grab it, but it'll still work. All right, put that like that. I'm gonna kind of press down that glue a little bit to get that to grab. And we're also gonna glue the back. Make sure you don't, if you don't wanna glue the back, you don't have to. Adorable. I think this would be great for a school project. You know, you can just go out back, pick up a few branches, cut about six inches, take a bunch of toilet paper tubes. You know, you can pre um, prep them already by putting holes in them and doing the faces and have little ones decorate it. So I think it's good for any age. If you want to, you can use a dimensional back here as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use my glue. Just a little strip kind of hold that down for us on the back. How cute. Gonna press that down some, make sure it sticks. And again, I'm using a foil cupcake liner, so it may be a little bit harder for that glue to grab, but we'll make it work. Probably a little more glue back here, I think. You could probably use a glue stick as well. I'm gonna fix all this and give it a squish. All right, so there you have it. There's scarecrow number one and scarecrow number two. Super cute. All right, guys, any questions, let me know. Um, as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.